What's up guys? This is Pro Warriors. In this video, we're going to learn how to play PlayStation games on an Android phone. I'm not kidding, and this is definitely not clickbait. As you can see, I'm playing PSP games on my Android device. For your information, my phone has just an entry-level chip, yet I can still run PSP games in high definition and at 60 frames per second with the help of the PPSSPP emulator. I'm going to show you exactly how to set up the emulator, the best settings and configurations, how to customize controls, and how to add games to PPSSPP. This is a full tutorial, so watch the entire video carefully. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. The PPSSPP emulator for Android is a popular app that turns your Android device into a PSP console. It can run your PSP games in full HD resolution and even upscale textures to make them sharper. You can also enable post-processing shaders to adjust color, brightness, and other effects. Let's get started. First, we're going to download the PPSSPP emulator on our Android phone. Head over to the Google Play Store and search for PPSSPP emulator. You'll notice two versions of the app. I recommend the blue one, which is completely free and has no ads. There's also the PPSSPP Gold version, which is paid. In a previous video, I tested the free version, but I noticed the Gold version offers slightly higher FPS and graphics quality for just $5, and it's a great way to support the developers. You can find more info on our Discord server. The link is in the description. It's a small app, so it will download in a few seconds. After installing, launch PPSSPP. The app will ask you to select a folder where PSP data will be stored. Simply click OK and you'll be directed to your phone's internal storage. Create a new folder and name it PPSSPP. Then click Use this folder to allow the emulator to store the data. Now we're inside the emulator, and you'll see the main screen where your games will be displayed. Since this is your first time using it, the library will be empty. You can add games manually by navigating to the Homebrew and Demos section on the top bar. Click on the PPSSPP Homebrew store to see available demos. However, I don't think these are very interesting, so instead, we'll manually download and add our favorite PSP games. Switch to the Games tab at the top, click Browse, and navigate Navigate to the folder where you've stored your PSP games. Make sure you have legally obtained game files in PSP ISO format. Before playing, let's check out the settings to ensure the best experience. In the Graphics section, you'll find two rendering options, Vulkan and OpenGL. Vulkan is recommended for better performance on low-end devices, while OpenGL is ideal for higher quality on more powerful devices. Start with Vulkan but switch to OpenGL if your device can handle it. Next is the rendering resolution setting. Higher resolutions make games look sharper, but require more processing power. Set this to 4X if your device supports 1080p and adjust it based on performance. For the display resolution, keep it at native to match your phone's resolution. V-Sync helps prevent screen tearing, but can lower FPS. So turn it off for smoother gameplay on lower end devices. If your device struggles, you can enable frame skipping and start at a low value like 1 to see how it affects performance. Another important setting is buffer graphics commands. Setting this to 1 or no buffer can improve performance. Experiment with this option based on your device. In terms of texture filtering, switching to linear improves visuals but requires more processing power. If you experience glitches, try enabling the low resolution effects option. Turn on Show FPS Counter and Show Speed option to monitor performance. The Controls menu is another highlight of PPSSPP. You can fully customize the touch controls, including the size and position of buttons. If you use a Bluetooth controller, you can disable the touch controls altogether. In the Audio menu, I recommend keeping the default settings. And as for the System menu, there are lots of options, but I don't think any changes are necessary here. Don't worry if you mess something up there's always the option to restore settings to default. Now let's launch a game to see how it runs. Here is WWE All Starts, running on the emulator. As you can see, it performs well, hitting 60 FPS at a one-time resolution. Increasing the resolution improves the visual quality and I'm still getting full speed. You can also save your progress and customize settings for each game. I've tested other titles like God of War, Need for Speed, Rivals, Sonic, Metal Slug, Tekken 8, and Mortal Kombat, and they all run great. PPSSPP is free, feature-packed, and a fantastic way to enjoy PSP games on your Android phone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and join our Discord server if you need any help. See you in the next video. Take care.